Hey guys, welcome back to Vietnam. It's been a while, hasn't it? So this is Men of War Vietnam, as you can see on the screen. Vietnam is one of my favourite settings for a video game, and there are so few games that have taken advantage of it properly. Viet Cong is obviously the main one that comes to mind, which we did on the channel a little while ago, and it was a lot of fun. So this is slightly different, this is a real-time strategy game, which is based on the Men of War series, and if you've played any of those before, you're familiar with them. Um, it's an action RTS game, although there is a lot of micromanagement in it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a strange sort of game, it's a strange series, but I picked it up dead cheap in the Steam sale, so this probably won't be a full playthrough, but we'll play a few missions anyway, see what you guys think of it. I want to try it, so... Let's do the USA campaign. We're doing it on easy as well because this game is hard as fucking nails. No matter what setting you've got it on, it really is stupidly difficult sometimes. It's also hot key city. Which is not the right thing to be doing at like three in the morning when you've had a few. We'll see how we get on. Sergeant Merrill, our intel shows that these two villages are infested with Charlie sympathizers. They give shelter to gorillas and supply Charlie with food. You are to investigate and confirm these claims. Invest? So what, if there's a lot of rice and a if lot of If you find groups? any evidence of gorilla activity, you are to destroy any hidden weapons and terminate anyone known to shelter the enemy. Shoot everybody, blow everything up, got it. We don't expect organized resistance. But watch out for ambush over here by the river crossing. And also at the old French bunkers over here. So watch your back. Oh, we know the French Indochina there, I like it. Alright, so welcome to Men of War Vietnam. Properly, that is. The camera in this is a bit like Company Heroes, I guess. It has this sort of... Is this like isometric? Is it 3D isometric? I'm not 100% sure. I've probably got that totally wrong. But that's the camera mode anyway, this sort of standard thing. You can then zoom in and go to grind, or end up like directly above them as well, which is kind of strange. This game's about two years old now, so the models, textures and stuff don't look too bad at all for that. They're quite high I mean, you can certainly see, for example, we have some South Vietz in this squad of men here. Uh, which, yeah, to me and you, that's, that's cannon fodder. Alright, so let's get moving. There's going to be booby traps all over this. Which means, ironically, we should probably stick to the path if we don't want to die. I though you'd think that was the most dangerous place to be. Apparently not. I just want to keep these guys out of the jungle so they don't get popped by like pungy traps and grenades and Civilian shit. straight ahead, Chief. What the hell are they doing here? Well, they're probably not civilians at all, are they? It's Charlie, isn't it? He's digging a hole. Charlie, why are you digging a hole? Oh crap, they have weapons! Yep, yeah, you. Oh, oh. Wow. Whoa, ho, ho. they're making booby traps. They got them all over the jungle. Let's search their baskets. Wonder if they have anything else up their sleeves. So this is where the micromanagement section of this game comes in. You've got an inventory system for each and every soldier, which means he has his own ammo count, he carries his own med packs, his helmet, stuff like that. So there is a lot of micromanagement. It's not just, you know, throw a squad in and let them do their stuff. Um, there's also, which I'll show you right now, as well as this sort of inventory management, I don't really want to give him some machine gun bullets or a straw hat. 
But as well as the infantry management, you also have a direct fire system in this game. Which means that if you hold, I think it's control, is it? Yeah, if you hold control, you can actually request that a soldier targets and shoots where you want. I actually think you can move them. Can you move them around? I'm positive you can move them around, but... Um, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can physically move them too. So it's almost like a third-person shooter, which is very strange. I think... He also just pulled out a grenade, which I didn't want him to do. I think it's better implemented in the latest Men of War game, but this is obviously a wee bit back. What I'm going to do is cut now while I loot all these bodies, and then we'll, we'll carry on up the trail to the river. So I'll see you guys in a minute. So I just spent the last few minutes looking through these baskets and bodies and stuff to get my guys some side arms and some extra ammo and stuff. And they will need it, I assure you. Yes, Again, this is where the micromanagement element of this game really comes in. Because our Bill Kirby here, for example, has not loaded his bloody gun since the last engagement against uh, peasants with rusty revolvers. So we're going to have to get him to do it manually. Thank you, Bill. It's like commanding a group of child soldiers around. It really is. Now, what I've done is I've split these guys into different groups. So... Because of the, the sheer amount of booby traps, we'll move them in, in smaller groups and hope that they don't all die from falling into a pit full of spikes that have been smeared with feces. That will be unfortunate. Okay, we'll get these three guys up here. We need to get the sniper and the other guy up with them. Please tell me. No, don't run through it, lads. Do not run through the jungle. I have no... Why the... F what the fuck are you guys doing? Why are you shooting at him? Why has he not seen you? He's having a cigarette. We shouldn't disturb him. Let's get the sniper off at least. Start taking some pot shots at them. You guys can move up too. Come on. Alright. Take direct control of the sniper. And... Bang. And I missed. Okay. Not the best start in engagement, but we're doing okay. Yes, sir. These are my uh, non-expendable characters. I have the sniper, yes, sir. Uh, a machine gunner, yes, sir. and this guy, the wrong guy, Bill. Where's your grenade launcher, Bill? Got it, sir. It's not him, it's Carl Dillon, who has an M79 grenade launcher. All these guys are going to come in really handy after this but for now let's just push through and try and not lose anybody okay so we've got our first group here give them a little bit of cover and they can fire back second group here they really should not be proning let's get moving guys come on So this is taking a while, but I'd really rather not lose guys to booby traps this early on. And it will happen if I'm not extremely careful with where I put them. Our sniper can deal with him very easily. Thankfully he's got his back turned too, that's always handy. Okay, so we've only a few more. We're going to start moving them up now. On the path. No, lads, on the path. Stick to the path or you'll die. It's like Jurassic Park. If you go into the long grass, something's going to get you. Granted, it'll be a bouncing Betty, not a fucking Velociraptor, but... Either way, your leg's going to come off. Machine gun? No, it's a submachine gun. Alright, we should be fine just to move up. Move up behind that. Let's go. For some reason we're not firing at him. What's going on here? Got it, 
Where's the sniper? Get the fucking sniper up here. Fuck, if you want something done, get Carlos Hathcock to do it every time. I swear to fuck that machine gun, I just shot my sniper in the back as well. What a bastard. Alright. There isn't much of a danger of booby traps now. Let's just move up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so I know that was very methodical. But on the plus side, all of our guys are alive. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna have another really quick ammo check, and then... Search the bodies. Gather weapons and ammo. Exactly. John Merrill knows what he's doing. We'll have a look at the bodies, then we'll cross the river. Right, so I picked up a lot of guns and spare ammo and stuff from the guys we just killed. Bit painstaking, but we are going to need it later, so it's definitely worthwhile. Get across the river, though, and start thinking about how we're going to hit these bunkers. I think the best way is to keep most of the squad back and only use two or three people. Because otherwise we're just going to send in... I mean, we just smoke grenades would be the only way we could do it, but that is... We're almost guaranteed to lose people, I think, if we just assault them frontally. So, instead of doing that, we'll park most of the squad here and we'll grab our sniper. Or one of our machine gunners. Got it, sir. And, yeah, the guy with the M79. Got it, sir. Got it, sir. So we're going to throw our... Let's see, okay, this truck should be good cover. We'll throw our sniper here. Machine gunner here. And our grenadier over here. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Okay. Now, Carl Dillon's on fire will, but I don't think he's got the range to shoot anything, so he should be alright. Yes, sir! Okay, they're all now on fire at will. So, our sniper. I'm going to take direct control of him and pop this fella first, and then we can start. Let me just check. I can. Yeah, I've got good line of sight on the bunkers, so this is going to go well. I believe. Every day is a good day when you paint. I hope you enjoyed that cigarette. Nguyen, because it's your last one. Or not, because I missed. Don't load that rifle, you cheeky bastard. Don't do <laughs> Oh, he's a lucky one. Well, he was until that happened. Oof. Not quite sure where he's going. Okay, so we've got the bunker filled up now, with guys. And it's up to Sonny Armstrong to take him out. Thankfully, he's a crack shot, though. <laughs> Taught by Carlos Hathcock himself. Found every last detail, even... Oh, you dirty wee bastards. They're running. What are they doing? Are they rushing us? Well, they are as well. It's not going to do you much good. Go on, Sonny. Oof. Delightful. I'm not even controlling them anymore. Nice. Alright, so we've got one guy left. Did he go back in the... I think he went back in the bunker. Did he? Yeah, I can hear him. There he is. He's just outside. Okay, I think at this point we're safe enough to... Get everybody and move them up. Move over here first, and then we'll get them up at the bunker. God damn, Charlie is dug in. Frag them. See how they like it. This bunker, however, is going to be a fucking nightmare. Look at it. They've got a fucking dish coup set up and all sorts. I don't even know what the best way to hit that would be. Off. 
Oh, these guys are prone. Let's pick it up, guys. Pick it up. Up. Oh, here we go. Okay, we'll get them up the bunker. And then... There's our grenadier. We'll get him up since he has a M16. And we'll move him around. I assume that guy's... Yeah, he's got it. Look. So we're going to need to try and flush him out. Let's chuck a need in. Bang! Okay, you might want to run away from that. Boy, oh. Good stuff. Excellent. So that was one bunker cleared. I'm going to do hard save now. Unfortunately, this game does not have quick saves, although it really should. Right, we'll save there. Now all we need to do is clear out the second bunker, which unfortunately uh, doesn't look too easy. It does look like we can walk down that cliff, though, but that's... If they start firing on that machine gun swivels, that's no use to anybody. We'd need to, need to be very lucky about getting around there. Don't want to crawl down there. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Can't get down that way either, can we? Can we get down there? No. Shit, that really kiboshes things. I wonder what sort of range our, uh, right, there's a sniper, <laughs> oh man, this is going to end badly no matter what way I play it, I feel, yeah, I can hit him, but I need to make absolutely sure it's going to kill him, because if it doesn't, I mean, even if it does, someone else is only going to get on that in a second, so, I think that's going to kill him. If I can keep that suppressed and the machine gun and the. Uh... Yes, sir. No. What sort of range do we have on the grenades? Enough, actually. That's fine. Okay. I don't know. I can't switch between yes, them with such effectiveness, though, without slowing. I mean, there is a, a button to slow the game down, but oh, fuck it, we're going to try it in real time. Oh, this best work. Oh, it did as well. Right. Straight back on target. Fuck. Nope. Oh, there goes our sniper. I needed him, I'm afraid. We're going to have to try that again. And the grenade didn't even kill him, so... Try that again. Bollocks. Uh. Nice. Okay. Keep it angled. Brilliant. Brilliant. Not brilliant. Reloading. Yes! Excellent! We're in a better position here. Our grenadier is firing. Fantastic. I want to... Should I pause? I want to get our grenadier. The grenadier stopped using the grenadier launcher, which is fantastic, because I didn't want to waste my ammo with that. Oh, our sniper's taking a fucking point. And shit. Get him back, get him back, get him back. He needs the heal, man. Good. Yes, sir. We can move oh, our machine gunner in now. They still have quite a few guys around there, actually. That's good, he's doing well. Did he just say YOLO? 
I mean, you might as well list that sort of situation. It's definitely the right time for a YOLO. Okay, time to start moving some of our other guys up. And they are quite a way back. I really hope there's no booby traps in there or all of this planning will have been for nothing. Yes, so, how many guys do we have left? Sounds like we've got at least one out the front. There's one on the side. Maybe that's who we're shooting at. Why would our MG... This is what I mean. Don't shoot him. That's a fucking total waste of ammo. I wonder you've got nine bullets left in that. You hopeless it, bastard. Got it, sir. Oh, okay, this is risky, but fuck it. Let's move everyone up to that log. Oh, hello. Shoot him. Come on, lads. Oh, he's running. Yes, sir. That guy's still starting there. Yeah, he is as well. Cheeky wee bastard. I can't believe we can't kill him. He's about a foot in front of us. Oh, we're going to have to waste a grenade, aren't we? He's got a few. Where's that thing? A machete. Why, look, you've jumped. Yeah, have a grenade. See how you like it, you bastard. That doesn't Try flush this. him out. I'm not sure what will. Did not flush him out. There's still a couple in the back of the bunker. There's one right on the side of it. Dirty bastards. Oh, fuck. I think we're dealing with just one guy now. Alright. Let's regroup. And think about what the fuck yes. we're doing. Got it, sir. You guys, uh, you want to kill him, do you think, yes, or no? Yes, sir. Huh? Maybe. It's not the end of the world if you don't kill him, like, but it would be handy. It would be very handy. Where, the, where even is he? Oh, there he is. Cheeky wee bastard. Get you. Okay, we will chuck one of these shite grenades into the... No, 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 no! What the fuck are you doing? Oh, get away. Oh, yeah, this is bad. Now we're going to get fucking ambushed. Shit. Right. Everyone else. Oh, what are we doing? This is, this is where sometimes you need... Things like this that sets the game into absolute fucking permanent yes, slow motion so you can plan stuff out. It's slightly better than pausing. Although debatably as gay as that, but whatever. Set a mine right on the bridge. You need to, first of all, get the fuck back and then heal. Get our machine gunner here. Yes, sir. Where's our guy with it, there's another machine gunner. We'll put him. Um, put him up there. Probably be a good idea. Got it, sir. Sniper can go back behind this rock and still be able to shoot. Uh, rifleman. What do we want him? Probably. Oh no 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 no! Oh shit! Well that's ruined it, hasn't it? That moves everybody. Sniper. Oh, they're coming. Sniper, get up there. Yes, sir. What are you? You are a grenadier, aren't you? Right, get your grenade. Get your M79 out, we're gonna need you. Put him there. So sniper's gone up there, do we have an M? Okay, you can get up there as well. It doesn't help that nobody's reloaded. Here comes the fucking truck as well. I guess we're just gonna have to put the game back into full motion, see what happens.
It was a three, wasn't it? Oh boy. Everyone reload. Shit, it's too late for that. Here's our grenadier. Bam. Oh, nice. <laughs> that was worthwhile. Okay, so we got two left around there, plus a fucking massive squad of them coming. Joyful. Okay, since we have them arranged, we'll fire another grenade. Here we go. No, that no, actually, never mind. We did a fair bit. I don't love it. I see them throwing grenades as well. We've cleared most of them though. How many grenades does he have left? One. Yeah, let's not have him fire anymore. Got it, sir. There's our sniper doing up here. Can you see any of these guys? No, no, he cannot. Get him round here instead. Yes, he can come back. Got it, sir. Ammo. Why is he using that? I mean, it's a good job I gave him an agant. He can't have run out of ammo, can he? No, he can't. He's just a scrub and he wants to use that instead. Take the fucking Kalashnikov back. What's wrong with you? No, she's got three left. Oh, one's right around the back. Get out of there, you dick. Okay, we have them flanked. Oh, you are your rifleman, that's nice. Oh, good. So, did he go inside? These guys are really unpredictable. Oh no, he's still there. Alright, uh, it may be worth throwing a grenade to flush him out. I have quite a lot of grenades on this guy, so... As long as we have someone else watching... What should we do? A machine gunner right there. Oh, he's on the move! He's on the move! He's gone inside. No, he's back out. I definitely need to grenade, I think. Chuck it there. Good. Should get him. Nice. Phew. It took two goals, I suppose, but we got there, and we still have every member of the squad alive, which is really the important thing. Because these were only the preliminary objectives. We still have half of the fucking map to play. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed this episode, though. It's a very tactical game. It's... Yeah, I, I enjoy it, I think, actually. I, I do quite like it. Um, It's very time consuming though to plan out what you're doing and you know there's obviously certain ways of doing things that are more effective than others but we did all right i mean we still have an absolute full squad going into the last or the second half of the mission i suppose let me know what you think in the comments it probably won't be a full playthrough but if you want to see a few more episodes of this give me a shout i'll do them because i'm going to be playing this anyway for a little while and yeah I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Kill all of the good gooks. All of the, except for the good gooks. He's a good gook. Yes, sir. Kill all of the gooks.